Hey, how's it going? Checking in with updates for today. Um, again, managed to get quite a lot of speaky prep work done. Had a really good call with somebody who I did some work with earlier this year um, on behalf of another company and uh, looked at what uh, the opportunities might be going into 2022 with some work that they're putting together. Uh, again, basically delivering and de designing a wellbeing program for this particular organization and uh, could be some opportunities to bring some of the content that I have in. Um, and, and just kind of reminding me of the difference in the position that I'm in now compared with um, 18 months ago in particular, but uh, you know, over the, since I really started picking up with this, I had all these ideas of sessions I could deliver, but I didn't, I hadn't actually delivered a lot of them, very, very little experience. And it's a bit like a chicken and egg issue or problem because you need to be delivering them to get the experience of delivering them and to be able to tweak them, but you can't do that until you're delivering them. And uh, now I'm in that situation where I have delivered a lot of these ideas, these, these sessions uh, multiple times and I've tweaked them and I've approved them and they are tried and tested uh, with a range of different audiences. And uh, I can now quite confidently uh, talk about those sessions and say, well, this is what we do. This is what the impact is. This is how people have responded to them. This is the way that they can work virtually versus in person. Um, and uh, that there's a there's a huge you know, I feel like there's a huge difference where I am now compared to, as I said, where I was a couple of couple of three years ago. I've also spent some time today working on my showcase session for the uh, presentation in, well, it's not in London, it's the London PSA, but it's virtual, the Speaker Booker Day. And um, I think I've got quite a nice little, little uh, set here. It's only six minutes long. And um, the, the key thing for me at the moment, I've scripted the whole thing out. The key is to not feel like I need to or want to memorize the whole thing. That is definitely not my best approach, but I need to script it a little bit to begin with because I've got to check the timings. And um, now it's about stripping it back. And this is my kind of process for this kind of presentation is I script the whole thing. Um, I do a lot of this with Toastmasters talks as well. And then I, then I, then I break it down and, and sort of put create a little sort of flow, uh, almost a flow chart, but like, here's the introduction, here's the next bit, here's the next bit, here's the first point, the second point, the third point, here's the ending. Um, and uh, I just make bullet points. And then I bring it back into the full script again, and I run it through whilst looking at those, that, that flow. Then I rewrite the flow again, and I do it without the notes, and I do it without the, um, uh, without the script, and I do it without the notes. And, and it's just this, it's a very iterative process. I'm not somebody who can just sit down and in a day, write a presentation, it, it takes time. And uh, this is why I've needed to, um, and, and have always needed to uh, give myself that time. Like it doesn't feel like it comes together straight away. It takes a few passes. It takes a few iterations for it to feel like it's, all right, now I've really got something. Um, and uh, I need to sort of sit on it for a little while as well. So write something, then leave it for a day, then come back to it. And it's like, oh, now I know what I need to do with this. Now I need to know where I can change that clunky passage there and bring something else in. Or I get an idea, something that comes to my mind, a, a phrase or an expression or a quote that I can use that I bring in. But it doesn't all just come when I sit down for two hours to, to work on something. So this is definitely my approach. Other speakers, I'm sure, have different approaches. Some people probably can just sit down and crack out an amazing presentation in one sitting, but that's not the way that I found works best for me. So just chipping away at it, spending some, probably some quite serious time on something like this, quite a lot of time for just six minutes of presentation, but I feel like it's quite an important presentation to give, um, given that uh, it, it's in front of um, various speaker bookers, and that's one of the goals that I have. Uh, to 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 get on the books with some speaker bureaus, and uh, so I am putting a little bit of work, <laughs> quite a lot of work actually, into it. So, yeah, I feel like I'm I'm making progress. I'm actually delivering a session tomorrow. One of the other things I've done is to prep for that session. This is a personal effectiveness session for Nestle. Um, uh, part of Gen Healthy Minds is suite of programs. I've delivered it before to HPE, so this is the second time I've done it, but it's uh, been a while since I've had to kind of really go back and refresh and update the uh, the information, the notes as well. So I've done quite a lot of work on that today also. So as I said, quite a lot of speaky stuff going out today. I um, feel like it's been a reasonably productive day. Still not 100%, um, definitely getting there, but uh, a long way from, from being back to how I was pre-COVID. So, but as I said, it's, it's getting there. But there we go is my update for today. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.